Alright, so now we're going to talk about another string functions in Tableau to clean up our data by removing unwanted spaces using the three functions left trim, right trim and trim. And of course, as usual, we have to understand first the concept behind them and then we're going to practice in Tableau. So let's go. Alright, so now we have the following scenario where we have again a bad data quality in our view. If you check the products, we can see that we have four times the keyboard. So what is going on? We have here no case issue. Like all of them are capitalized and the first character. So there is no lowercase, uppercase. Everything is fine. Why Tableau didn't aggregate? all those values in one row, in one product, because here we have only three products. So what is going on here? What happened? Well, we have the dirty spaces in the product name. In the keyboard, there are like unwanted spaces. It's really hard to see in the visual. You can see that like everything looks fine, right? But there are spaces inside the keyboard and we have to remove it. So now in order to clean up the data and remove those dirty spaces, we can use one of the three functions, left trim, right trim, or trim. And if you apply those functions on the product name, we're gonna get the result like this, only three products and everything gonna be fine. So let's understand how those functions works. So let's have the following simple examples. Let's say that we have the word monitor, but on the left side, we have a white space. In order to remove it, we can use the Tableau function, lift trim. So lift trim gonna remove any unwanted spaces from the left side of the word. And now we might have the opposite situation where we have the monitor but on the right side there is a white space in order to remove those spaces we can use the function in tableau right trim so right trim gonna remove any spaces from the right side of the world moving on to the third scenario we have the same word monitor but this time on the left and on the right there are white spaces so in order to remove those spaces either we can use both of the functions left trim and right trim or we can use the third function, a trim. If you use the trim function in Tableau for this scenario, it's gonna remove all the white spaces from the left side and as well all the white spaces from the right side. All right, so now we're gonna go quickly compare those three functions. The left trim gonna remove any leading spaces, the right trim gonna remove any trailing spaces, and the trim gonna remove both of them, the leading and trailing spaces. And the syntaxes in Tableau are really simple. So for example, we have here the left trim keyword, then it accepts only one string field, the output gonna be a string value. So for example, let's say we want to lift trim this value. We have Maria on the left side, we have a white space and as well on the right side. So if you use a lift trim, it's gonna remove only the leading spaces. So it's gonna just remove the space from the left and gonna leave the space that we have on the right because it's only left trimming. Let's go to the next one. It's exactly the opposite, but the syntax is almost the same. So we have a right trim. It accepts the field string. The output gonna be as well a string value. So if we stay with the same example, it's gonna remove only the trailing space. So the space on the left side gonna stay in this example. Now let's move to the last one. I think you already got it. We're gonna use only the trim here, not the left or right. So both of them and it accepts as well a string field. The output gonna be a string value and the example gonna be the following. So Maria with the left and right spaces, what's gonna happen? We're gonna remove the left space and as well the right space. So those functions are really easy to use and very important to improve your data quality in the visualizations. Let's go back to Tableau and start practicing. Okay, first make sure to select the right data source. So we're gonna stay with the product's low quality since I prepared there the examples. And now we're gonna go with the product two. So just drag and drop it here in the view. And as you can see, we have now four products for the keyboard. Now it's really hard to see where are those white spaces. For the first two, you can see they are like little bit shifted to the right. But for the second two keyboards, we are not sure whether they are like on the right side, a white space or not. And the situation can be really bad if we switch to different visualizations. So let's take the quantity and now in the bar diagram, it's almost impossible to see whether there are like any white spaces. So if I'm facing this situation in my projects, I go first and start counting how many characters do I have in each product. So I calculate the length of each word. So in order to do that, we're going to create a new calculated field. Let's go and create a new one and we're going to call it products length. So the keyword for that to calculate the links is L-E-N and that's it. And then it accepts only one field, string field, and the output gonna be a number. So our field gonna be the product 
2. Make sure to select the correct one. And that's it. The calculation is valid. Let's click OK. And since the output is going to be a number, Tableau is going to go and create a continuous measure. So I'm just going to remove the quantity from the view. And let's bring our new calculated field to the view. So the length of the first one has a 9. So this means we have only one white space. The second one has two white spaces. The third one is correct. The first one is as well has a one white space. So with the links function, we can easily detect whether there are dirty spaces in our words. So now in order to remove and clean up those problems, we're going to use the trim functions. So let's start with the lift trim and we're going to go and create a new calculated field. So let's go and do that. We're going to call it products lift trim. And we're going to start with the syntax lift trim and it accepts only one string field. It's going to be the product to make sure to select the correct one and the calculation is valid. Let's go and hit OK. And now we notice that Tableau created a new dimension because the output is a string. Let's go and put it here in the view. So now what's going to happen to the values inside the products? All the spaces from the left side going to be removed or trimmed. But again here, it's really hard to see from the view whether everything is fine. So we're going to go again and calculate the length of the new field. So let's go and change the calculations inside our calculated field. So instead of having the product to, we're going to remove it and insert the new dimension. Let's click OK. All right, so now let's check the result. As you can see, we have some values fixed. So the first one, we have it as 8. The second one, we still have a space. The third one is anyway correct. The third one is as well incorrect. So as you can see, the situation is now a little bit better, but we still have spaces. That means we have spaces on the right side. So in order to fix this, we're going to go and trim from the right side. So let's go back to our calculations, the left trim. Let's edit it and add the right trim. So we're going to go over here. We're going to have nested calculations. So right trim. And we want the result from the left trim. So let's go and hit OK. But maybe I'm going to change the name to trim. So let's hit OK. So what can happen to the values inside the products? We are trimming everything from the left and as well from the right. And as you can see now, the length is as well correct. So all those values has the length of 8. So in order to test this as well, we're going to remove the product 2 from the view. And we have here only three values. And of course, the links doesn't make any sense here because we are summarizing the links of all the products inside the orders. So instead of having it as a measure, maybe we can convert it to dimensions to not have any calculations. So I'm just going to remove it from here and just add the product length. And as you can see, everything is fine. And now, of course, for this scenario, we have an easier solution. We can just use a trim instead of using left and right trim in one calculation. So let's go and do that. So we're going to go back to our calculation and edit it. So we're just going to remove everything. We're going to use the keyword trim and then it accepts only one field. It's going to be the product two. And as you can see, the calculation is valid. Let's click OK. So as you can see, nothing going to change in the view. We're going to get exactly the same results. So with that, we have cleaned up the values inside the product by removing any dirty or unwanted spaces. Alright, I want to show you one more method on how to detect whether there is like bad quality in your data by having unwanted spaces and that's especially if you have a big data source. If you have a lot of values, it's really hard to detect those stuff if you are using the links function. So I'm going to show you now how I usually do it if I have a big data source. So what I usually do if I have suspicion about one field where I think the users are like manually entering the values is that I go and count the distinct value inside this field. So now let me show you how I usually do it. Let's go and create a new calculated field and we're going to call it products count D. So the syntax for that is going to be count and then the word D. We are counting the distinct value inside our products. The field is going to be product 2. The output for that is going to be a number. So the calculation is valid. Let's go and hit OK. So as you can see on the left side, we have a new continuous measure. It's going to count how many distinct values we have inside the products. So let's see the results. I'm just going to go and remove everything from the view. I'm going to take the count D and put it in the text. So now the results are going to say I have six different products inside my data source, but I have suspicions about it. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and start trimming the values inside the products. And my expectation is going to be the following. If the number is going to stay the same, then we don't have any spaces. But if the number is going to go smaller, then we have unwanted spaces inside the products. So let's start testing that. We're going to go to our calculation and start adding our trims. We start always with the left trim or right trim. Why we don't go immediately to the trim? Because 
If you are trimming everything from the left and the right, this can have a bad performance in Tableau because it needs resources. So if you are only left trimming or only right trimming, it's going to be easier for Tableau to do it. But if you always go immediately to the trim, you might have bad performance. So that's why I always start with the left trim. So let's go to the left trim and check the results. So I'm just going to add it to the product over here. So with that, we are first lift trimming the product too. Then we are counting how many distinct values we're going to see inside this database. The calculation is valid. Let's hit OK. All right. So now we moved from six to four products. This is alerting for me. That means there is like leading spaces. So now the next step, what I usually do is to go and test whether we have any right spaces on the right side. For that, either I'm going to add a right trim or I'm just simply going to use the trim. So now if we add the right trim and the trim and the number going to stay the same for, that means we have only problem with the left spaces. But if the number going to go smaller, that means we have as well right spaces. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go again to our measure and edit the calculation. And instead of having left trim, I'm just going to have now trim to test as well the right spaces. So let's go and hit OK. Now, as you can see, we went from four to three. That means we have as well right spaces, not only left, but as well right. So the total number of products went from six to four to three. So this is how I usually do it to decide whether I'm going to use only left trim or right trim or both of them instead of using immediate trim. I saw a lot of projects and a lot of developers tend to like overreact with this. So if they see like a string value, they go immediately and trim it just in order to have a correct result at the Tableau visualization. But believe me, if you do this always, you're going to have bad reaction in Tableau and you're going to have bad performance. So take little time investigating whether it's really necessary or not. All right. So that's all about how to clean up our data by removing unwanted spaces using the three functions, left trim, right trim, and trim. Next, we're going to talk about another group, the left, right, and mid. And if you like my content and you want to support the channel, then I really appreciate it if you support, like, and comment. This is really going to help the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.